Previously on McLeod's Daughters. Becky's strong. You're smart. You always know what to say. You should make people treat you better. You should treat yourself better. I mean, you're almost glow in the dark, you're that beautiful. He's cute, isn't he? He's very nice. I'm supposed to marry him. Have I said that? Maybe she thinks I'm going to take advantage of you or something. God. Well, I hope she's right. You and Alex. Anything happening there? Nah. You can't keep treating me like I'm still 11. I should have told you about Terry. He's okay, and you and him, well, I guess it's nice for you to have someone in your old age. Old age. We just separate them from their mothers. Yep. If they continue taking milk, the cows are too stuffed to breed again. So what do they eat instead? Is it like weaning babies? Yep. We give them lots of stewed pumpkin and little bowls with little spoons. <laughs> so I say, what's happening tomorrow night? And Mum says, oh, maybe a barbecue. A barbecue. It's my 18th birthday. Well, it sounds better than stealing a bottle of Dad's booze and spending the night in the back of a truck for some drop kick. Your Mum and Dad didn't throw your party? They forgot. Sorry, I don't have time to get your present for tomorrow, but you can have the day off instead, OK? And, um, you know that skirt of mine you like? Yeah? Yeah, you can borrow it. Gee, thanks. That's all right. Oh, Mum, about the barbecue, can I at least invite Jessica and Emma over? Oh, darling, what if we decide on Chinese instead? We can't afford it. What if they paid for themselves? Oh, then we'd look cheap. We are cheap. What if I paid for them? Jodie, you already owe me money. Fine. <laughs> Just another clue about tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take some time to find your heart and come back home. You could walk for miles across every river and find your not alone. Cause I'll be there. I done with my life you know I should be at TAFE I should be doing hair and, and makeup and fashion design and, and hanging out with friends and meeting the most gorgeous guys in the world but instead I'm stuck here shoveling cow pets until I'm 80 with no hope of ever meeting anyone what's the rash I'm the world's oldest virgin <laughs> you know if I was in South America I'd be married with four kids by now do you know if you were living in South Gungala and you'd be unmarried with four kids right now? It's not all it's cracked up to be. Maybe not for you. Oh, sorry, Beth. I didn't mean it like that. It's, um, just that, well, uh, everybody else has done it. So they say. I feel like a freak. <laughs> What do you reckon? Oh, Jodie will love it, Meg. Yeah, I think jewellery's always nice. That's what I got for my 18th. Yeah, me too. Antique ring, topaz and pearl. Must have cost Mum a fortune. But um, I lost it rollerblading. Cried for days. Dad got me that bottle of port. Oh, it's nice. Are you sure those cows are all right? They sound very unhappy. No, they're just missing their babies. I'll get over it. Vintage. Let's try it. I played this at my 18th. Cops came three times about the noise. On my 18th, Shelley Thompson and I got stuck into the Baileys and then we went and saw Dragon. That's where I met Kevin. Mmm. Smooth. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Craig Woodland's, um, about the best of the lot. 
but he's full of himself. No, I need someone older, someone with experience. What was your first time like? Awesome. On the beach, under the stars. Do you remember your first? Of course I do. And? I'm not telling you. The last thing I remember were Clint Eastwood's eyes staring down at me. The driving. <laughs> Larissa Bean said it was worse than getting a tattoo. With the blokes around here, a tattoo would last longer. <laughs> My first time is going to be great. As long as I get the right guy. And how are you going to know? The way a man dances. That's what I always say. If a man's got rhythm, he's got rhythm. He comes <laughs> towards me. Holding out a rose or a gardenia or something. And when I take it, our fingers touch. And this shudder runs through me. And I know it means we're meant to be together. You can't dance forever. I found that out with Kev. One day you're married with a baby, and the next you're on your own. And then your baby's not a baby anymore. His mouth will be strong but soft. And he'll kiss my toes and my ears and my neck. When you find this guy, can you ask if he's got a brother? I still feel like I'm 18. Oh my God. I was 18 when I met Kev. And that is when I started. Well, she, she can't be ready for all of that. And... Can she? I mean... I do not appreciate you ransacking my room. What are you all about? You know very well. It's not so much that you took them. Took what? It's that you don't respect my privacy. Took what? My condoms. Gross, you think I'd go looking around in your room for those? Well, they were in the bedside drawer and they're not there now. Well, I didn't take them. Well, they kind of just jumped out and disappeared on their own. What's the big deal, Mum? So what if I did take them? I'm not a kid anymore in case you hadn't noticed. Just put them back where you got them. From. Oh. I can't stand this. They're still crying about being separated. When will they be all right? Not a few more days yet. Can I borrow the car? Yeah, sure. Claire? Oh, Jodie, no. Sorry, you can't. Why, where are you going? To have a birthday worth remembering. But I need you to check the boundary fences. And what about the barbecue? It's my 18th birthday tonight, Mum. It's supposed to be special. Look, it's karaoke night at the pub, so I'm going to go and sing and dance and have a good time, and no one can stop me. Do something. Tess? Well, then we, um, um, we could check the fences together, and because it's your birthday, I'll do them for the rest of the week. Sorry, Tess, I really don't think I'm dressed for it. You can't go. You'll miss your surprise party. <laughs> you guys? Mum? Surprise. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
So, what's wrong with it? Let me see. So far, I've seen you in um, jeans for work, jeans for home, jeans for the rodeo, and now jeans for a party. Don't you dress up for anything? Well, the party's in the shed, and it's an 18th. I wouldn't exactly call it a formal affair. Well, that doesn't mean you shouldn't look your best. You never know who you might meet. Are you sure I look okay? You look great. Oh, maybe I should have worn that blue dress. Darling, you look lovely. Hmm. So who do you invite? Who's coming? Oh, just the local crowd. Jessica, Emma, Craig Woodland, the Thompson boys. Craig! That's right. Oh. Okay. Here he goes. Exactly what works at these sort of gigs. The three R's. Rock, retro, and root music. Root music. Right. Oh, wow. Hope you like it. I love it. For you. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love the top. Where'd you get it? Oh. Oh my god, don't look now. The Craig Woodlands is staring right at you. Are you serious? I said don't look! So oh, rude! Oh wow, well, perfume! <laughs> you. Wow. Happy birthday, Jody. I uh, got you a little something. Uh, thanks, Craig. Great. Hi, Mrs. Found. Hello, Craig. So, uh, a yeah, great party. Yeah, thanks. All the dance? Yeah, that'd be great. Hey, Becky, you up for it tonight? If you're still standing at midnight, we'll talk. I will be, don't you worry. I won't. Hey, Claire. Aren't you glad you passed all this? Oh, speak for yourself, mate. Yeah, all that crap about asking somebody to dance and the big deal was about who you asked first. <laughs> yeah, you just ask everyone, then I hope you're gonna go and get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so, which one out of you two is gonna die for a dance? Good, Meg. Really? Yeah. I don't look old. Oh, that's one of those lose-lose questions, isn't it? You know, if I say yeah, you'll knock my block off. If I say no, you'll say I'm fibbing. A little bit of Terry. Where did all the years go? <laughs> Condoms outside the laundry door. Not ours. Must have dropped out of all that stuff you bought over last night. <sighs> when I bought a present over, it's in the same drawer. Thanks. Oh my God. If, if Jodie's, then she doesn't. Oh. Could be a mum. <laughs>
babies. Everybody in the house, if I could have your attention, please. As you're all aware, we are here tonight to celebrate the birthday of a very special lady. Jodie. Well, special lady, this one's for you. You are the one. Oh, yes, you are the one. You are the only one Look into my eyes and let me show you love Cause you're the one, the only one Let me touch your hand Let me touch your heart Let me kiss your mouth Let the feeling start Hey Joe, you want another dance? Um, no, thanks, Craig. I might go get a drink. Hey Becky, do you like to dance? I'm a little bit hot. I might just. Teenagers. You should go for a dip in the creek. Are you kidding? It'd be freezing. Hmm. The city girl's afraid to go skinny dipping. I'm not afraid. Go skinny dipping all the time. Ah. A regular nudist. Yep. Could be. <laughs> so, um, why don't we go for a dip in the creek then? Because it's too cold. And, um, I'm afraid you'll get the wrong idea. About what? Well, I think that you think it could lead to something. And what would be wrong with that? Alex, I don't think people should do it at the drop of a hat. There's such a thing as conversation, you know? Hmm. You mean foreplay? <laughs> no, foreplay is... I bet you've never slept with someone without bonking them, have you? <laughs> Absolutely not true. 
I've shared a tenant with Nick lots of times. <laughs> set her heart on fire and then stomp on it till it goes out. I'm sure she'd love to hear that right now. I'm trying to let go. Tomorrow he'll be gone and Jodie will still be here. Alone. Do you think she knows what she's doing? I still know. <laughs> hey, I think he likes me. Craig's all right? You're not Craig the DJ, Troy. Isn't he a dream? He's got the most soulful eyes. Makes Craig look so daggy. <laughs> believe this, but um, I spent the night with lots of guys and all we did was talk. Gay? They most definitely were not. Hmm. It's a good technique. Was it a technique? Of course it was. They conned you. All they wanted was a bonk. You just judge everyone by your own low standards. Not mine. It's all guys. It's what we do. Haven't you ever heard of sensitive new age guys? Snags. Yeah, I've heard of them. Sexless nerds or gays. That's snogs. <laughs> Whatever. You are so unconstructed. Hey, watch out, there's a snake. Where? You city girls. You fall for anything, don't you? Say the same about you and Alex. We were just talking. You spent 40 minutes alone with Alex Ryan and all you did was talk. Running a stopwatch, are we? Clara was a joke. So, uh, what were you up to, Tess? What do you reckon? Talking. Is that the law? Yep. 
Well, I'm almost done. Do you want me to walk you back? I think I can look after myself. Hey, Becky. I'll be right with you. I'm off. Look, I don't want any more piss heads hassling you. I'm gonna walk you home, alright? Alright. Jody, darling. Uh, Mum, <laughs> I'm not coming home just yet. No, I thought we could go and, you know, talk, gossip about the party. Not tonight, Mum. Yeah, and there's your prezi. Don't you want to see what it is? Yeah, but my real birthday isn't till tomorrow. I no, mean, it's almost midnight. I know, Mum. I've got to go. Um, look, because you're all grown up now, and that means being careful. So, I just want your extra time and your kiss. Oh, Prince, right? Who cares? Somebody bring me some water. I think I'm burning alive. Do you want to come check out the rest of my record collection? It's in my van. Yeah. Oh, well, guess I'll catch you around. Guess so. Night, Becky. Night, Brett. I got your chain. Found it in one of the tubs. I'll uh, see ya. Brett. Thank you. Hi, Carl. It's me, Tess. No, not Bess, Tess. Yes, that Tess. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Um, anyway, you know how we used to lie in bed together and talk about Nelson Mandela? Did you really want to talk about South African politics? You did? Oh. Oh. oh I see. Um, well, I'm glad you finally come out and told everyone. <laughs> yep, you can't stay in the closet forever. Yeah. Uh, say hello to Michael for me. Yep. Bye. Got a lot of work to do in the morning. What? More torture of unsuspecting animals. Tearing more babies away from their mothers. Good. Can't wait. Uh, it's all right. Uh, it's all right. What, look, what if I... Uh, just give me a minute, okay? <laughs> uh, look, maybe we should talk about something else. Uh, Troy. 
Troy, what? Troy, what's wrong? Um, not sure. Um, aren't there other things Just you can do? Just give me a minute. Um, are you okay? Sure. Come here. Not you. He'd had too much to drink. Happens a lot. Just a tick here. Cape Canaveral is ready for liftoff. Houston, we have a problem. It'll happen, darling. When the time's right and you meet someone, you fall in love. How long will that be? The only place you meet anyone around in here is at parties and the guys are always drunk. Yes, it was easier for us. We had the drive-ins. Is that where you fell in love for the first time? No, it was the pub. A crowded pub. I'd gone to see a band with a friend. What? No, I just can't imagine you raging away in a mosh pit, that's all. I haven't always just been your mother, Jody. Anyway, the place was packed and we were right up the back. And the crowd parted for some reason. And there he was. Just standing there. He looked straight into my eyes and I felt the shiver run down my back. He walked towards me and it was like suddenly the room was empty and we were the only people there. And he took my hand without saying a word and we danced. And I knew the moment he touched me that he was the one. Well, what happened then? I married him and I had you. That was Dad. <laughs> a happy ending, Joe. But that's okay, because when it was good, it was very, very good. Madonna, I know I'm a bit late. You let the calves out. What? You've been going on and on about how upset they are. Well, that doesn't mean I did it. Well, no one else would. How'd it go with Troy? Oh, fantastic. It was just exactly... Just like my dream. You didn't do it, did you? No. <laughs> Morning, Jodie. You want to um, 
come for a ride. Yeah. Jump in my car. Ted Murray gang. <sighs> Drop dead trolley. I'm gonna go. Okay. Hey, Choi, you can raise a bus for the gun girl, huh? Yeah, whatever, mate. Hey, it's not Jay's fault you can't tell the difference between a golding and a stallion. <laughs> you wanna come here and say that? Why? Your legs don't work either, huh? Hey, Jaden. Hey. You wanna come for a spin? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. You take back what you said, Moron, right now. Back off, punk. Don't touch me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Stop what, it. You wanna bring it on? Do it. Guys, come on, stop oh, it. Big tough country yeah. boy, are you? Don't mock me, man. Oh, don't yeah. mock me. You yeah. reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. bring it on. Stop yeah. it. Bring it on. She would have learnt the first time. I heard that. Oh, 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 Better oh, make sure the gates lock when you finish, Meg. Wouldn't want them to get out again. How can you be sure it was Tess? You know what she's like. You've seen the stickers on her car, animal rights for everything, even mozzies. <laughs> being over sentimental unless i walk in my sleep i did not let these calves out why can't you just admit what you did so we can get on with it? are you deaf claire maybe maybe i have a shot mom mom you better come quick lock the gate come on yeah Party's over. I want all you lot out of here now. Come on! That was um pretty impressive, Claire. Almost as impressive as spending 40 minutes alone with Alex Ryan. I mean, what did they think they were trying to prove? They were showing off for you. Uh, like that? Yep. They're guys. They've got a big future. Only just 18 and the boys are fighting over you already. Jodie's not going to forget her 18th in a hurry. Who does? No offence, but Jack could have given you a party. Dad and I, we did OK. <laughs> there was so much cutlery at this hotel. <laughs> Neither of us knew where to start first. The third time the cops came to my party, Mum hid out the back. <laughs> I thought of you, you know. I remember blowing out the candles and wishing you were there. You're making that up. You can't remember that. Yes, I can. It's what I wished for every year. got you a, a gift. Earplugs. Well, how else does a cold, heartless farmer like me get through weaning time? But I didn't let them out. Well, if you didn't, who did? It's all right. Let them grow up sometime. So 
your head.